are you today? And we are talking about financial elder abuse, a problem that one attorney calls an epidemic. Former District Attorney Alexandria Strike of Strike Law Offices has successfully prosecuted numerous elder abuse cases. She is here with us today. Epidemic? Well, Carolyn, it's been going on for years, and the estimates are that seniors are losing $2.9 billion every year to abuse. Who are they losing it to? Well, thieves. And primarily, you know, we see people who move in who are caregivers or they want to act as caregivers and they ask for gifts, mm -hmm. or they name the wrong person in their estate planning to manage their finances. And, and, you know, it's just too easy for some people to start justifying taking money that belongs to someone else. We're going to put this up on the screen. There actually is a targeted age group here, even a gender that you've shared with us. Women between the age, age of 80 and 89 who live alone are twice as likely as men to be victims of this type of abuse. That's correct. And Carolyn, one of the things I'd like to point out is if, if, if people feel like they're being pressured by someone to do something, they probably are. And so women in that age group, say no. Say no. If someone's calling your house repeatedly, report it. If someone shows up at the door and says you need some kind of repair on the home, say no. Okay. And no. That's I know, <laughs> right? That is no. Okay, you kind of outlined the problem a little bit for us. Okay. But now we want to get to preparing yourself mm -hmm. for something like this to happen. What, what steps can people take? Well, one thing to think about is who do you trust? Who is in your life that you can trust to manage your finances? And if you don't know how your children are managing their finances, find out before you name them in a power of attorney to manage your own. And if they aren't managing their own finances well, they aren't going to do better for you. Sometimes is it better to go outside of the family for a power of attorney? There are some very good options for what we call professional fiduciaries. And I know that turns a lot of people off because it's the thought of having someone who doesn't know you at all mm -hmm. manage your, your assets and make some personal decisions. But you can name a family member and a professional, and then you have a safeguard when it comes to the dollars that go out the door. You really have some horror stories, some cases you've worked on, don't you? Well, I do, Carolyn. I I've seen, you know, people knocking on doors of, of elderly gentlemen. I had a, a gentleman when I was prosecuting. People would come and say, we bought you groceries. Don't you remember? You owe me a couple hundred dollars. Or I put gas in your car. You said you'd pay me back. And just taking money. Um, I've seen people named in powers of attorney, mm -hmm. sons, again, who were stealing from a dad. And the dad was going to be evicted from a nursing home. The kids went through almost two million dollars. Oh my, elderly abuse financially is what we're talking about here. If you'd like to know more, you can call mm -hmm. Alexandria at 345-6308. You can go to her website as well, and we've made it easy as we try to do around here. We've hotlinked that website to ktvb.com. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. Back with more.